What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm going to be replacing some of the EEPROMs on this Mean Logic board. It's a common repair for these Vizio Mean Logic boards. It fixes all sorts of problems like backlight issues, power issues, frozen um, boot up screen, stuff like that. I'll leave a link in the video description below where to get the repair kits and the tools I use to replace these parts. At shopjimmy.com, they have a description of the problem and the solution the EEPROM will fix on your main logic board. So we're going to replace all four of these EEPROMs here, 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 and here. You want to leave it on medium to low heat. All right, so I'm going to start off with this right here, EEPROM, and I'm just going to demonstrate. We're going to use a little bit of flux right here and a brush. You can use flux in a jar. That works fine or you can use a flux pen. They both work pretty decent. I just like to overdo it with the flux. You wanna make sure that solder pad, make sure the solder on the solder pads liquefy before you remove the EEPROM. You'll see it start to move. There you go. Now the reason why this EEPROM was harder to remove than some other EEPROMs is that solder pad right here on the bottom, you need to heat that up and liquefy that before removing it. And you don't want to pull it off the board. You're going to destroy the traces. So just be patient, heat it up, and let it like you know move a little bit. And you'll see it like float a little bit around on the solder pads, and then you can remove it. All right, I'm going to um, now re um, remove the rest of the solder off the solder pads. And you want to make sure the heat vent is blowing away from the board. All right, so then you can use uh, your flux pen, and that's going to help bond the solder on the solder pad. Or you can use flux in a jar. It doesn't really matter. This is a little bit sloppier, though. I'm going to use just a little bit of solder paste. This is the lead free one. And just a little bit right there. And then we're just going to wipe it across the solder pads. A little goes a long way. And then just a dab in the center. Make sure the dimple on the IC matches the white marker on the board. Go ahead and line it up now. Should fall right into place. And once you're done, make sure you don't have any solder bridging. If you do, you can use a desoldering braid to clean it up. And use a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol. This is a 91% rubbing alcohol and let it dry before you plug it in. I hope the EEPROM demonstration helped you guys out. Uh, check out the link in the video description below where to get the EEPROM repair kit to fix your Vizio Mean Logic board. If you know anyone that this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button and share this video to them, help someone out. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. And if you want more how-to videos coming your way, click on the subscribe button right here. If you want to check out some of my other TV repair videos, click on this link right here. It's my TV repair playlist. Thanks guys for watching.